What up, ladies and gentlemen? Markel Fultz, NBA player here, and I'm with Tarver Academy. And guess what? Today, we are learning about some math, okay? So I've got a problem, it's from the ACT. So, I mean, it's not the exact ACT, but it's an ACT example problem for our bell ringer today. And so we're gonna work this, I'm gonna let you take a shot at it, and then I'm gonna work it with you. Let's get started. It says, Jimmy, Jimmy Butler probably, Jimmy got a job painting dorm rooms, okay? He can paint five rooms during a one hour shift. Not bad. How long does it take Jimmy to paint one room? Okay, first off, I'm gonna change this. That's a six hour shift. That's on me, that's my bad, okay? He painted five rooms during a six hour shift, okay? How long does it take Jimmy to paint one room? There's a couple ways to work this. I want you to try it, so pause this, give it a shot, and then I'll work it with you and see if you got it right. Ready, pause? Pausing on a free throw, just like that. Okay, so here we go. Let's work this together. So let's look at our facts. He can paint five rooms during one six hour shift. So in six hours, our boy Jimmy can paint five rooms, okay? It'd be convenient if he painted six rooms in six hours. I'd be like, oh, that's one hour, okay? How long does it take him to paint one room? Okay, so what we're doing is we're trying to break this down and see how long it would take him to do one of these rooms if it takes him six hours to do five. So um, there's a couple ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the way I would do it, and then I'll give you a hint on what I look for when I'm working it, okay? So, um, this doesn't divide evenly, so I can't just do like six divided by five, okay? It just doesn't work out cleanly. So what I wanna do is I wanna break it up into minutes, okay? If I've got six hours, if I wanna know what that is, I'm gonna spread it out into minutes. So there are 60 minutes in one hour, so I'm gonna multiply those and get 360 minutes. That's our total amount of minutes that old Jimmy is painting rooms. Now, now I can divide 360 a lot cleaner with five. So I'm gonna do 360 divided by five. 360, dunk, Markel Fultz. Okay, so 360 divided by five, that's gonna go into it um, 72 times. So it's gonna take him 72 minutes to paint one room because I've divided, I've taken my, all of my minutes, 360 minutes, and I know there are five, so I'm just gonna divide that by five. I don't know why I'm doing my hands like this. 72 minutes. Now, here's a, there's a good chance that on the multiple choice test, it could give you hours and then minutes. So you know if it's 72 minutes, or I know that I can pull 60 seconds, or 60 minutes out of that and get one hour, and when you pull 60 out of 72, how much is left? 12. So it's one hour, 12 minutes. And that would be our answer. That's it. Now, um, also, just a fun fact, this is a tip. This one's for free. Actually, all this is free. Um, but if you're working this problem, and say you're just like kind of confused on it, you can still look at this and know kind of a general vicinity of where your answer should be. So if it's multiple choice, if it takes him six hours to do five rooms, you know that if he did six rooms, it'd be an hour, it's pretty easy, it's an hour per room. Now, if he's doing less than that, then that means it's gonna be more than an hour. It's taking him longer than an hour. Because if he was doing an hour at a time, it'd be exactly six, okay? So that's just a fun fact, it's a hint, that's a tip. Just a little tippy tip, okay? So that's all I got. Thank you guys for tuning in. Markel Foltz here. Don't forget to subscribe if you, uh, if you wanna make 100 on all of your tests. That's all I got. Y'all be good, stay sweet.